Summary of Rewire Your OCD Brain by Catherine Pittman and William Youngs, written and narrated by Janky Mind. Introduction Let's embark on a journey through the audiobook to discover a profound understanding of anxiety's roots and how we can effectively manage obsessive behavior to regain mastery over our lives. A compelling example introduces us to Manuel, a brilliant worker who grapples with overwhelming anxiety as he faces an imminent presentation. As the day approaches, his fretfulness intensifies, leaving him scrutinizing his work and striving for perfection in sentences. The mere thought of standing before his bosses evokes a terrifying sweat. Manuel embodies a classic case of an obsessive individual where certain behaviors wield power over his life and in severe instances, disrupt his relationships and well-being. However, we are fortunate to be living in a time of remarkable scientific advancements, particularly in neuroscience and brain imaging. These developments have illuminated the intricate workings of our brains during moments of worry, providing us with the tools to preempt and counter obsessive tendencies before they spiral out of control. Chapter 1, Unraveling Obsessive Thoughts, Understanding the Cycle of Anxiety Distinguishing between worries, anxieties, and obsessive thoughts is crucial in comprehending the nature of obsession. While worries are transient and anxiety tends to fade with time, obsessive thoughts persist relentlessly, dominating a person's life. These thoughts manifest in various ways, stemming from inherited traits or acquired experiences, but they all share a common trait, they work in cycles, subtly influencing daily life and decision-making. For some, obsessive thoughts may revolve around disturbing images, violent scenes, or self-harm impulses, instilling fear and distress. Other common themes include the fear of contamination, an intense desire for strict order and organization, violent and aggressive impulses, and the avoidance of making mistakes. Religious obsessions can lead to overwhelming guilt or compel individuals to take drastic actions in search of relief. To alleviate the distress caused by these obsessions, individuals often resort to compulsive behaviors that provide temporary relief. Repetitive acts become compulsions as they are repeated to find solace. From incessantly checking doors to arranging objects in specific orders or repeatedly rereading emails, these behaviors may offer a fleeting sense of comfort, but they fail to address the root cause of anxiety. To achieve lasting solutions, understanding the cycle of obsessive thoughts and their connection to anxiety is crucial. By delving into the origins of these thoughts and employing effective strategies, individuals can gradually regain control over their lives and break free from the shackles of obsessions. Chapter 2 Decoding Anxiety Unraveling the Amygdala's Role Picture yourself on a Friday, driving to reconnect with old friends in a neighboring town. Suddenly, a speeding car veers into your lane on the freeway. In a split second, you instinctively swerve and hit the brakes, avoiding a collision. But did you consciously make that decision? Unbeknownst to you, your brain is constantly processing information from your five senses, guiding your actions and decisions. This intricate process happens subconsciously, influencing how you respond to various stimuli. There are two sensory pathways through which information can flow. When you encounter a hot room, for instance, your skin senses the heat, and the information travels to your brain's cortex for processing before leading to a thoughtful response, like opening a window or turning on the AC. However, in more urgent situations, like reacting to the sound of a gunshot on the street, the information bypasses the cortex and goes directly to a small but powerful part of your brain called the amygdala. This ancient brain structure triggers a swift and instinctive reaction, releasing adrenaline and glucose to fuel your escape and diverting blood flow to your muscles for optimal performance. While this mechanism is a life-saving asset, it has its downsides. The amygdala lacks the ability to interpret information and can misinterpret harmless situations as threats, leading to anxiety. For individuals with OCD, this reaction can be especially intense. As humans, we cannot command this illiterate watchman to behave differently, 
as millions of years of evolution have hardwired the amygdala to prioritize safety. Its motto is better safe than sorry, as it played a crucial role in our ancestors' survival amidst wild animals and invading tribes. Nevertheless, understanding the amygdala's role in anxiety opens up possibilities for managing this primal response. While we can't control the data that bypasses the cortex for the amygdala, there are alternative methods to regain control over our anxiety and pave the way to a more peaceful and balanced life. Chapter 3, Decoding Anxiety, Unraveling the Role of the Cortex Understanding the amygdala's instinctive defense response to direct sensory input is crucial, but it's not the sole culprit behind anxiety, you play a significant role too. Meet Sheila, waking up with a headache that triggers fears of a brain tumor in her cortex. Though aware of these thoughts, her amygdala misinterprets the commotion and initiates a defense response, causing distress. Now, consider Tony, immersed in a cozy train ride, yet his thoughts about his girlfriend lead him down a path of worries and doubts. Unlike Sheila's anxiety, Tony's is purely thought-generated. Nevertheless, both scenarios result in a defense response triggered by conscious thoughts in the cortex. This defense response can prompt hormonal changes as the body gears up to fight, flee, or freeze. For individuals with OCD, emotional shifts may be misinterpreted as validation of their fears, leading to a reinforcing cycle of anxiety and distress. Cognitive fusion, the tendency to believe imagined scenarios, coupled with humans' capacity to anticipate and react ahead of danger, is akin to a superpower enabling us to build grand structures and predict natural disasters. However, for those with OCD, defense mechanisms may exaggerate perceived dangers, sending the amygdala into overdrive. A woman with OCD, for instance, might experience random thoughts of harming her child, which, in reality, is a common phenomenon for most people. The key difference lies in her dwelling on these thoughts, reinforcing them to the point of fearing she poses a threat to her own baby. Understanding the root cause of anxiety is a crucial step toward shedding guilt and embracing processes that aid in managing obsessions. By unraveling the complex interplay between the cortex and the amygdala, individuals can gain greater control over their anxieties and pave the way toward a healthier, more balanced life. Chapter 4. Navigating Obsessive Behavior strategies for a fulfilling life. Now equipped with a comprehensive understanding of your body's defense response and its connection to anxiety and obsessions, it's time to discover how to lead a more fulfilling life using this knowledge. When your internal alarm sounds and anxiety surges, begin by reviewing the situation. Recognize that false signals can trigger a defense response. Observe and acknowledge the symptoms, such as pounding heart, muscle tension, and sweating during a panic attack. Developing self-awareness diverts attention from the crisis and reduces the amygdala's activation level, enabling you to perceive these reactions as normal and less threatening afterward. When panic or obsessive thoughts strike, utilize the power of diversion. Your mind cannot focus intensely on two things at once, so replace distressing thoughts with more engaging or enjoyable ones. Reach out to friends, embark on fun tasks, or immerse yourself in enjoyable activities that require less effort. While conscious efforts to pacify your defense response are beneficial, remember that the troops must complete their course once rallied. Redirect the restless energy toward exercise and outdoor activities. Expend that surplus energy, and the amygdala will call for retreat, leading to reduced stress, relaxed muscles, and a slower heart rate. Additionally, exercise releases feel-good hormones similar to those triggered by anxiety medication, providing a natural boost without side effects. Recognize your remarkable capacity to contemplate the distant future, a superpower that may also trigger a defense response even over anticipated problems that may never materialize. To counter this, ground yourself in the present moment, engaging all your senses to experience and appreciate your immediate environment fully. Incorporate deep breathing, mindful meditation, and muscle relaxation exercises to mitigate defense triggers. 
If obsessive thoughts persist at bedtime, employ diversion tactics like reading or listening to a podcast. Create mental images of pleasant experiences or cherish fond memories. By integrating mindfulness, presence, deep breathing, and exercise into your daily routine, strive to identify the aspects of life that you can control and those beyond your reach. Embrace acceptance and gratitude for what you have, fostering a mindset that lessens obsessive focus on uncontrollable elements. Through these strategies, you can navigate obsessive behavior and pave the way for a more fulfilling and balanced life. Chapter 5, Rewiring Your Brain, Unraveling the Power of Neuroplasticity Taming the brain's innate defense mechanism is undoubtedly challenging, but the brain possesses a fascinating property that renders it highly adaptable with consistent effort. Consider the scenario of children eating at a McDonald's with their parents. While spiders and barking dogs might elicit fear in a child, the brain's learning process comes into play when an event, such as Tom being scolded for rubbing barbecue sauce on his face, associates barbecue sauce with a threat due to the negative emotion involved. This association, stored in specific neural pathways, causes the amygdala to sound the alarm whenever barbecue sauce is encountered in the future, triggering anxiety or obsessive thoughts. However, there is hope in this process. The brain's neuroplasticity, the ability to form new pathways and structures, allows for positive change. By engaging in new activities that create new associations and firing different sets of neurons linked to delightful experiences, the brain undergoes physical changes, regardless of age. This knowledge becomes a powerful tool in exposure therapy, where individuals are gradually reintroduced to their anxieties. Through this process, the amygdala learns not to fear what it once fought against, and individuals learn to tolerate the activated symptoms without succumbing to compulsive behaviors that reinforce negative associations. Taking these steps in measured doses over time can lead to the rewiring of the OCD brain, opening doors to new possibilities and a more balanced life. Embracing the potential of neuroplasticity offers a transformative path towards managing obsessive behaviors and attaining emotional freedom. Summary Obsessive thoughts may wield power over your life, but the key to managing distress and anxiety lies in understanding how your brain functions. When anxiety strikes, it's a natural defensive mechanism aimed at safeguarding you, yet it can be triggered by false or exaggerated threats. Your remarkable capacity to think can also incite your system to anticipate and combat imagined dangers. Sometimes, this internal war rages without your conscious awareness. To combat anxiety, maintain a second perspective and critically examine the evidence when you become aware of it. When triggered, seek distraction, engage in exercise, or simply observe and let panic attacks subside without overanalyzing random thoughts. Harness your brain's innate ability to forge new pathways and structures, forming fresh memories and associations. Gradually confront your fears through exposure therapy, allowing your body to learn that some threats are, in fact, harmless. Consistent practice in this realm will empower you to live your best life, free from the clutches of obsessive thoughts and anxiety. Embrace the power of your mind to unlock a future of balance and emotional freedom. This audiobook summary was brought to you by Janky Mind. We hope you enjoyed it.